What's up, guys? It's Kaiba on the Renegade here on Launch Octopus Stage. Ready. Sorry, I'm trying to find ways to sync up the audio. <laughs> what am I doing? Why am I doing it? There we go. So right here, you can completely fill your sub tanks just by killing those guys. Yeah, those guys. Completely fill them without having to be in Sigma stage. Also, just worth mentioning that this has my least favorite boss in it. And it's actually a mini boss. Yeah, that's right. This fish guy right here, my least favorite boss in the entire game. Why? Well, you'll see in a little bit. Notice A, he takes a buttload of hits. He spawns little guys. Whatever you want to call them. Thanks for giving me a, uh, health when I didn't need it. He spawns little guys, and you fight him again. And you might think, oh, it's not so bad fighting him again. You, you kind of destroyed him there. Well, this time you fight him with insta-kill. Why? Because there's spikes all over the place. So I'm going to try and concentrate. Ah, oh, man. So this time, he's out for your soul. Sweet. So nothing up there as of... Well, there is, but it's not important. So right up here, if we bust out our flamethrower... We can make a ship sink! We are terrorists! Hooray! Japan making robot terrorists. What a surprise. Just kidding, Japan. So this guy, we fight him again to start. It's not a bad boss fight. A mini boss fight, I should say. I love this mini boss. I love the concept. I love what they were capable of doing with the SNES. This is fantastic, you know? I would not have asked for anything less than this in a game. In fact, I don't think I could have asked for a better boss. I mean, he's not the best boss in the world. He's kind of easy to beat. But he's so cool! He looks the part. He feels the part. You ride the boss. Ride. How many bosses do you ride? Unless you're playing Shadow of the Colossus, that is. He just looks, feels, and acts like a boss. You, he's so imposing upon you that you have to get on him and shoot him repeatedly in the face. Well, the back of the face, mind you, but in the face! Look at that! How cool is this guy? Alright, there we go. Also, his tail will always land where his head is, and his tail is what has the health and power-up of stuff. So, keep an eye out for that. So going right in here, I'm actually going to waste this shot and pull out my rolling shield, because that is Launch Octopus's weakness. <coughs> so yeah, we went through four sub-bosses and a boss, and probably took longer than the last episode, or shorter than the last episode. However, I'm going to admit wholeheartedly to you that this is my least favorite of all the Mega Man X bosses. Now you might be going, but Kaibon, he's awesome! Look at him, he's a 
fucking octopus that shoots missiles. Well, this guy, even with his power up, gives me so much trouble because I have a big problem with avoiding his little missiles. Either I really, really want to, at which point I spend all my time focusing on avoiding the missiles, or I don't care and I end up getting killed by them. So that's pretty much how that goes. So here we're going to see Launch Octopus's power. It's the homing torpedo. I thought it was homing missile, but... Well, I'll still call it missiles anyway. So, um, well, that's going to be an episode there. Uh, next time, we will be moving on to Boomer Kawanga's stage. Boomer Kawanka. And, uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. <laughs>